Uh, all right, Baylor and Kansas. Before we get to the bloodshed that happened, the in bloodletting. Yeah. Oh my gosh! But Baylor and Kansas. Baylor wins that game, thirty-five to twenty-three. But could have very easily won forty-nine to three. Really could have. They should have. They should have put up fifty points on Kansas. They they really had them. They like had, not to not to down Kansas, no, kick you while you're down. But, but it, it it was. They had Kansas. They had Kansas broken, mm -hmm. which is not something you can say for this Kansas team. And then let them off the hook at the end of the first half. And as they've been known to do all season, yes. that's been a problem. I think it is. The, this team does not grasp those little things, those little moments that like swing momentum very well. And they need to win. You know, they don't, they don't need to like let somebody suffocate. Like when they're down, you stomp them. Like that's it. Like, yeah. Yeah, and Paul, I don't like if oh, if OSU or TCU gets that early lead that Baylor had on Kansas, you don't have to worry in the second half if if who's going to win the game. Yeah, because, no. exactly. Because of what you guys were just talking about. Yeah, exactly. They're going to clamp down. They're going to absolutely you know smother them. Baylor just doesn't have that killer instinct right now, Royden. No, and it's a it's the little things too, like dropping passes in the end zone, throwing picks into double coverage. Like I mean. Uh, it, it really a fumble it, out here. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a second week in a row that that Blake Chapin has had a absolutely mind-numbingly bad fumble in the red zone, and that's another thing with Baylor too. Uh, I I don't know the efficiency stats, but just from the eye test of watching them and covering them all year, their red zone offense, I, regardless of what the stats say, has been terrible. It's been awful, especially when you're trying to put teams away. It has been it when when you need those points when you need to get the the fourth and one that would have would have uh, kept that drive alive in the red zone when you need to uh, you know well, get now, those on. drives at West Virginia that would have would have it's just been bad and it's been the and then that has led I think to a snowball effect of them not being able to put their foot on people's throats yeah um, on the third and one and the fourth and one bad spot uh, bad spots. And I, I do think that Dave Aranda should have made him look, even if you wind up losing. Yeah. Even if you wind up losing, you need to make him look. Because they had a, they had the timeouts to give and they had the lead. So You have one challenge in, in college football, right? Yeah. And so make, make him look. But uh, they didn't, and um, that, that is what it is. Okay, now to the bloodletting in Lubbock.